Hey, what's up guys? Country Boy here, bringing you another how-to guide. And I got a special one for you today. I'm actually going to show you two different builds for on her, depending on how you really want to play him. Uh, the build that I'm actually building in this game is a more of a mid to late game type of build. Uh, but the other one is more of an early game build. But first, I want to go over what's happened here. As soon as the game started, uh, our blue buff got invaded by the enemy team. So we took red buff, and at the same time, we kind of engaged and pushed them back to their blue. Now, instead of going back, the Hercules decides that he wants to uh, zone out while we steal their blue, which actually worked out pretty well. We actually stolen the blue from 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 the enemy team, but the but they're still engaging. So I want to take first blood, and the enemy on her foolishly jumps over the wall into three people and gets smoked itself. So I mean, got their got their blue buff plus red buff plus two kills. Very good start of the game. Now let's get to the items. Uh, the first item that I build, you know, it's the tier two transcendence and the tier one boots. Uh, after that, I finish off transcendence and then go straight into the warrior's toby boots. Now, after that, I usually go with uh, wind demon as my third item, and then after wind demon, I will go with uh, hasten fatalis. Or I may, I may have that mixed up. I may go Hasten Fatalis first and then Wind Demon. I can't remember. But regardless to the fact, whichever one that you want to do first, you go ahead because it doesn't matter as long as you have two. Wind Demon and Fatalis kind of go uh, hand in hand together because of the uh, movement speed that Wind Demon gives you plus the movement speed that uh, Hasten Fatalis gives you also. So either or. But the fifth item that I usually build is Titan Fang, just for the additional penetration. I know on her already has penetration on his uh, kit, but a little extra never hurt nobody. Exactly. Now, the last item that I like to build with the, on her is usually a crit item, and it's usually Deathbringer. I mean, all my I use Deathbringer on all my crit builds, you know, so if there's crit in it, it's going to be death bringer. Plus you get a little extra crit from Wind Demon also. So, you know, it's it's a, it's a very good build. And uh, that's, that's basically the first build. As far as relics go, relics are always situational. In this particular situation here, I, I went with uh, Aegis first and I, I like to go into uh, Sundering Spear with On Her. I don't think I went at this round. I think I actually went with Purification Beads. But I, I really do like Sundering Spear on On Her because it's super strong. If you uh, are able to actually pin them up against your pillar or your obelisk and hit them with Sundering Spear, then your ultimate usually winds up in a kill. But it's actually getting them up against the obelisk is the hard part. <laughs> but it takes a little time to uh, get used to it. But one thing that I try to tell people is that you always don't have to use your obelisk for the pin. Pin someone up against the wall, then put your obelisk up for the buff. You know what I mean? It, you don't always have to pin them up against that obelisk. Okay, now the, the secondary build that I have for on her is more of a uh, early game type of build, uh, fast damage coming out. Uh, instead of starting with Transcendence, I'll start with the boots. And after the boots, I'll go with uh, Ichable, Ichable, however you say it. And uh, the third item, I'll go with Aussie. So these are tier two items, but they're very good because they they give you attack speed and penetration, which in early game is is really good. Now the uh, fourth item 
that I'll go is Wind Demon because of the movement speed and the crit, and it's also a cheaper item too. So you have four decently cheap items that you can get online fairly quickly, and uh, you know it does. They just do a ton of damage, you know, in the beginning. And uh, let's see here, the fifth item that I like to run with is uh, Titan's Bane, and the sixth item. Yeah, it's crit damage as always. Uh, now, if uh, you actually make it into late game, you can sell the Aussie, or not the Aussie, but the Ichabel, and trade it out for like coin size, or you know, kind of whatever you really want, or whatever you think you need. If you think you need more crit, get Malice. If you think you need more attack speed, get coin size. You know, if you want more power, go Jotun's Wrath. You know, you. Just, really however you want to do it but you know usually joust games don't actually last that long so a lot of the times you won't get to the full build especially if you go in this route you'll usually wind up into the game a lot quicker than you would if you go this way because this this particular build takes some time because you have to stack and one of the things I like about the other one is that you don't have to so you let your mages stack if they which they usually do but you know all in all they're both great builds i i really recommend either or um the, the second build i would probably recommend more if you're playing ranked instead of just a casual i usually run that build if i'm playing ranked joust other than if i'm playing casual joust i'll run the the um uh, the stackable transcendence but uh that's really it for the builds guys i mean as far as tips with on her just practice throwing out that obelisk and hitting your pins you know he's he's a very straightforward and, and simple guy to play you know there's not much to him and uh, he's probably one of the one of my more favorite gods because i do have him diamond also but uh, I'm going to actually. There's about 10 more minutes of the video of the match left. I think I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys watch the rest of the match if you want to. If you don't, you can go ahead and cut it off or go to something else. But I do appreciate you watching, guys. If you found this uh, video helpful, or you know, whatever, just leave me a like here and uh, let me know down in the comments if uh, if you enjoyed it. Or if it works for you. If not, it may not work for everyone. You just got to learn to hit them basics. That's about it. Hit them basics, basics and hit that pin. And uh, you pretty much know how to on her now. But guys, I do appreciate you watching. And uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button there. At the bottom right hand of the corner says CBG. Hit that for me. That way you can become a member. And I do appreciate you watching, guys. And... I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the video.